Rich Pedrincelli, Associated Press California Gov. Jerry Brown delivers his annual State of the State address before a joint session of the legislature, Thursday, January 25, 2018, in Sacramento, California. AP Photo, Rich Pedrincelli, A. State Senators voted Wednesday to approve AB 3080, a mandatory arbitration ban that grew out of If it becomes law, the prohibition would be more broadly applied to cover any claims of employment discrimination or wage and working hour claims made under the state labor code. Mandatory arbitration agreements, highly popular in the corporate world as a means of avoiding costly lawsuits and tarnished corporate and executive reputations, have become a key issue in the Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teed's former Uber engineer Susan Fowler, whose 2017 blog post alleging sexual harassment at the San Francisco ride-hailing firm helped oust the company's then-CEO Travis Kalanick, has come out in support of AB 3080, calling mandatory arbitration widespread and sinister. She had been under an arbitration agreement as a condition of her employment at Uber, but the company has said its employees have been able to opt out of arbitration clauses since 2016, Recode reported. If Governor Jerry Brown signs the bill into law, employers would be prohibited from requiring mandatory arbitration as a condition of employment, continuing employment or receiving employment-related benefits. Companies would also be banned from limiting the ability of employees, job applicants and contractors to share information about sexual harassment at work. Get tech news in your inbox weekday mornings. Sign up for the free Good Morning Silicon Valley newsletter. Brown has until September 30th to sign or veto the bill. In 2015, he vetoed a ban on mandatory arbitration agreements as a condition of employment, following fierce opposition from the state's Chamber of Commerce, which called such a ban, job killer. TechCrunch reported, if Brown approves the bill, the new law could run into conflict with federal law, according to analysis by the Society for Human Resource Management. A decision in May by the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the legality of arbitration agreements that include waivers barring employees from ganging up to sue employers in class action lawsuits, and forcing them to address disputes individually. The proposed mandatory arbitration ban potentially has a lot of hurdles to climb, considering the current status of how these arbitration agreements are viewed in federal court, lawyer Christina Nordston told the Society. 80 Equality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like home brewing with SolidWorks at SolidWorks Find the best credit card in Singapore 2018 Enjoy Compare the military watch that causes few roar on the internet at gadgets.com The world's most beautiful waterfalls to visit Photos far and wide new tinnitus discovery is leaving otolaryngologist Health news tips today what is forex trading? All about this financial IG Singapore ask Amy My house isn't dirty but she refuses to come, MercuryNews.com Olympic champion Bodie Miller and wife Morgan share. MercuryNews.com A baby was abandoned in a phone booth 64 years ago. MercuryNews.com Howard Stern character died of heroin overdose, TMZ says fake farmers. California congressman's self-descriptions challenge doing this before bed could help your hair growth. Watch HealthierPatriot.com make your resume stand out. Here's how work money the most wanted black dresses www.playmefashion.com Omarosa, Donald Trump Jr. Began affair with Aubrey O'Day after his father urged him to get some Bay Bridge sideshow shut down part of escalating trend. Authorities say not sure what wedding dress to choose. Click here www.playmefashion.com World's 20 busiest airports just released far and wide currency trading basics, what you need to know IG Singapore out of control motorcyclists around family on Almaden Expressway, Roadshow H1B, US. Officials cracking down on Indian citizens, report says.